This week at the Hopkinton Center for the Arts was the always impressive Hopkinton High School Art Show. Here's a look at some of the work on display. Um, so there are 13 students in the show, which is pretty nice, and it's a pretty big variety of um, different uh, artists of different mediums, which is kind of cool. A lot of times it's predominantly, uh, well, it's still predominantly two-dimensional artists, but as our, as our department is sort of shifting and becoming more three-dimensional, it's nice to see some models and um, some mold making, some casting happening. Um, so tonight there's a lot of digital work um, being produced, which is nice, and a lot of mixed media. So it's been it's been pretty cool to see. Um, I'm really excited about some of the work that Emily Dembinski is making, um, and she's actually got the piece over on the wall where she started interacting with. Por she's been working with portraits for a long time, um, but she started incorporating negative space into her portraits and, and reconsidering what it's like to subtract information from. Um, an artwork from an image and how that affects the viewer's response or how it affects the overall read of the work and then also what it means to just separate things and have you know have your eye have to make that connection so um, I think what she's doing is, is pretty innovative especially for somebody so young so, um, there are a lot of talented kids here tonight so I just feel lucky to work with them it's an awesome opportunity for them to see what it means to be an artist in a community and for the community to come together, people who maybe don't see each other all the time, and to talk about, um, you know, the art to start with as a starting point to communicate with one another, but who knows where that leads, you know, just the exchange of ideas, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I have nine pieces on display today, and I'm really influenced by negative space, so I think it's really interesting. Um, the negative space around people, so also like taking the shadow around someone. I have a piece over there where it's my cross country team all huddled up together, and I cut out like the sky basically in like the photo, and I painted just the face, like the shadows around the faces. And I, I really think that's interesting and something cool to explore. I've been doing art for about six years, so it's been a long time, and I love it. How does it feel to have some of your work here at the HCA? It's amazing. It's honestly like breathtaking to see everyone's art. Like not only mine, but like all of my classmates who I've seen been, who have been working on all these pieces for like such a long time. It's great to see it all up and like in a space where people can enjoy it. And uh, typically, how long does uh, each piece take you to make? So I take AP Studio Art, so we only have two weeks to make each piece. So sometimes it takes a little bit shorter than that, so I can start a new piece that might take a little longer. But uh, about like one and a half weeks to two, usually, for me. So uh, how many pieces of work do you have on display here today? I have six. How long have you been doing art for? Um, I've been doing seriously for like about four years, but I... Like even from before I could talk, I, my parents told me stories about how I would draw on the walls with my sisters and stuff like that. And my older sister was always a big inspiration, always pushing me to do art, so I've been doing it for a while. Excellent. And um, is this your first art show here today? Um, I was in a juried exhibition earlier in January, I mean February I think actually, um, for a Massachusetts run wide um, contest for young artists. Alright, and uh, could you tell us about some of your pieces on display? Yeah, um, most of my pieces are a part of my concentration for AP art, and a lot of them are about meaning derived from material. Like, um, I have one that's made out of glitter, and it's um, supposed to be a callback to pop art and the pop art movement in art history. And then I also have uh, one made completely out of hole punch dots of watercolor paper, too. So, uh, how many pieces of work do you have on display here today? I have three pieces of work. Um, I do photography advanced with um, Julie Underdawn, Patrick Webb, um, Mr. Worrell's class. All right, and uh, how long have you been interested in photography? Um, I've been interested in photography like since like the eighth grade. My sister like got a camera, like a DSLR, and like I really liked it, but I never had the chance to like take any photos because I didn't like know how the camera worked. And I took photography last year. And I like learned what an exposure is and all that type of stuff, and like I've really grown to love it. All right, and uh, can you talk about what motivated some of your work here today? Oh yeah. Um. So like a part of the class was that we had to choose our own project, and so I didn't really know what to to choose for my subject. And so Mr. Worrell gave some books from different artists, and I forget who, but it was someone who told some female photographers to. Uh, photograph their children and their family and that kind of inspired me to look in, through the lens of a mother 
And so I took on a project about photographing some moms in Hopkinton and seeing what their daily life is, what it's like to be a working mother or what it's like to be a stay-at-home mom and like just sort of see all the different perspectives and all the similarities and differences between them. Excellent. Is this your first art show? Yeah. <laughs> You enjoying it so far? Yeah, it's pretty crazy, but like, but like, I didn't really know what to expect, but it's like really nice. It's really nice all people came out here to support it. Yeah, so there's four photography students, um, all independent study, sort of band students that have work in here. Um, and, and one interesting thing of note in this show, I think, is uh, several of the students have done this sort of uh, old analog and new digital kind of mix. Some of the students are shooting film, digitizing the negatives and printing digitally, and that, that's really cool. And uh, what's it been like to uh, work with the uh, students that have uh, work on display here today, the photography students? It's great. It's kids that are involved in the independent studies, so they're like really self-motivated. Uh, and, and for me, it's really exciting to have kids that are really pumped about photography and just like want to experiment with cameras and try new things, and that's wonderful. It's pretty cool as a high school student to have your work in a real art gallery, you know, and to put the whole show together and to see your stuff under the lights. It's kind of a really nice real world experience for them. Um, so I have about three pieces and they're all film photography because that's mainly what I've been dealing with the past couple of years. So I don't know if there's one of mine. And uh, what motivated uh, your work? Um, a lot of my motivation is just by how I feel like people can get a lot out of a certain piece of photography and how photography can really be interpreted on its own based on just the person viewing it and I feel like that is a really inspiring thing to me. And uh, is it exciting to have some of your work up here today at the HCA? Yeah, I'm really happy about how the how it all turned out. We worked, everyone worked really hard the past couple weeks. Um, I have three pieces up in total: this one and that one, and one over there. Excellent. How long have you been doing photography for? Well, I've been interested in it for quite some time now, but I only just started taking photography classes at the high school in my junior year, and I'm a senior now. So. Uh, can you talk about what motivated your work? Um, yeah, well for this one, this one's part of a project that I'm doing um, about the public versus private selves and um, for the project I'm going to present the pictures as a diptych but for the show I just wanted it to be a standalone portrait because I thought that it was really strong and I loved the light in it and um, I thought that it was just a really strong portrait. Excellent. Uh, how long did it take to finish your pieces? Um, well, taking the actual pictures probably took um, like 30 minutes for like a photo shoot, 30 to 40 minutes. But then I had to develop them and, um, you know, edit and print, so it took a while. This picture actually was one of my dreams and so this building is kind of like a virtual reality and this circle is... I was going to put a moon behind the building but I don't have time to create like a, a, an earth. It's actually an earth. And so this one like you can see that's a, actually a balloon. So it's a floating building. And you can only attend, like, enter into the building by this this way. And it's breaking. So and, uh, how long did it take you to make it? It's actually because one of my dreams, I only need like 30 minutes to finish it, so that's great. There are four pieces here tonight. Excellent. Uh, can you tell us about your some of your pieces on display? Yeah, I got one right here. So it's uh, called Wild. It's a picture of a um, uh, winter landscape. It's supposed to um, depict a traditional cut paper piece like this one over here. It's a, but it's a digital piece and I try to emulate that process digitally. That's what I focus on in my pieces. So that's what my theme is, focusing on uh, traditional pieces in a digital format. You know, some over there, uh, maybe poster, uh, a few others here. All right, now how long did it uh, take you to do uh, each of your pieces? Uh, a lot of my pieces don't take me that long, usually one to two days, but some of them do take a little longer, uh, four to five days at most, but usually not, not that long. And uh, how long have you been doing the uh, painting for? I, uh, I've been doing art since I was about 12, a little, maybe a little bit before that. So yeah, I'm big into uh, being creative, getting out there, yeah. All right, and uh, how does it feel to have your work on the walls of the HCA? Uh, it makes me proud, you know, seeing it all out there, uh, next to all these great artists' work. 
makes me uh, put, put me in that same realm as all these other great artists here, and I'm just uh, excited for people to get out here and see everyone's work. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so I have um, six pieces, I believe, and this one big one over here, which is my model that I created in my independent study. Um, and a lot of them were projects that I did within class, um, and some of them were part of my independent study, which was a more like specified um, art class that I chose to do this year since um, I'm going to college next year and I really want to do architecture, so I wanted to do a class where I could focus on my love for architecture and kind of get a feel for it. In a lot of my work, I like to do a lot of detailed drawing um, with uh, a lot of repetition and I really like to use pen and ink as well. Um, this is my favorite medium, I think. And, and uh, how long uh, do, does your work uh, usually take you? Um, most projects take me about two weeks or so, but my biggest project that I did this year took me up until last week, and I started at the beginning of the year. All right, terrific. And uh, is all your work uh, architecture kind of work? Most of it is, um, this year at least, but some of my work from my junior year and sophomore year uh, were not as architecture based. I have six pieces in this show. Uh, how long have you been doing artwork for? Um, I was start doing art for in high school, so it's like two or three years. Excellent. Um, and uh, what are some of the pieces you have? Is there any around here? Um, this two sculpture is mine. Um, this is inspired by the Sigma building. I really like the color and the reflection of this big building. So I make some small things, like for example, it's a perfume bottom and a small structure. And uh, this is my sketchbook for my inspiration. Uh, how long does that all take you to do? It's, uh, the first one takes me about uh, one month to um, just have a look what I can make of rising and the carbon figure. And uh, the bigger one probably takes me three or four months to finish it.